The RX 6650 XT is the best value gaming GP on the market in 2023. Don't believe us? In this video, we'll put this powerful graphics card to the test in 10 popular games of both 1080p and 1440p resolutions. We'll also compare its performance and productivity benchmarks against other GPs. So buckle up and get ready for an in-depth look at the 6650 XT and why it's the best value for your money. Let's take a closer look at the specs of the 6650 XT and how it stacks up against the competition. While the 3060 and 3060 Ti may have larger core counts, the 6650 the XT fires back with a much higher base and boost clock, 58% higher than the 3060 Ti to be exact. And while the 3060 and 3060 Ti may have wider memory buses, the 6650 XT once again comes out on top with a much higher memory clock speed, giving it an edge in effective memory speed. So based on that, the 6650 XT is a powerhouse of a GPU with its insanely high clock and effective memory speeds, which could allow it to have an edge over the competition. But don't just take my word for it, let's see how it performs in 10 popular games. First. 1080p and then 1440p in rasterization and high settings. When it comes to 1080p gaming, the 6650 XT is a true champion. AMD themselves have dubbed it an epic 1080p gaming card, and for a good reason. It consistently outperforms the 3060 while coming in just shy of the 3060 Ti. But here's the kicker. The 3060 Ti may offer slightly better performance, but it comes with a whopping 43% higher price tag. Is it worth it? We'll let you be the judge. When we look at the average FPS for 1080p gaming, the 3060 is only 21% better than the 6650 XT. Meanwhile, the the 3060 is hot on its heels, but costs $60 more. While the 6650 XT may not specifically be designed for 1440p gaming, we couldn't resist putting it to the test to see how it performs. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The 6650 XT held its own against the 3060, beating it more often than not. Its high clock speeds proved to be a worthy opponent against the 3060's larger core count. And while the 3060 Ti did slightly outperform the 6650 XT at 1440p, the gap widened in favour of the 3060. Ti in some titles. But let's take a closer look at the average FPS for 1440p gaming. The 6650 XT slightly outperformed the 3060 by 3%, but don't let that small difference fool you. The 3060 is significantly more expensive. And the same goes for the 3060 Ti. It may outperform the 6650 XT by 19%, but it comes at a staggering $120 higher price tag. When we compare the average FPS for both 1080p and 1440p gaming, the results are clear. The 3060 beats the 6650 XT by 20%, while the 6650 XT edges out the 3060 by around 1%. But let's not forget about that price difference. Both the 3060 and 3060 Ti are significantly more expensive than the 6650 XT. So when we compare their value or performance per dollar, the 6650 XT comes out on top as the clear winner for overall value. It provides 6% more performance per dollar than the 3060 Ti and a whopping 23% more than the 3060. But when it comes to power consumption, the 6650 XT is a true champion. Despite its high clock speeds, it consumes significantly less power than both the 3060 and 3060 Ti. On average, the 3060 Ti consumes a staggering 47% more power, while the 3060 draws 25% more power than the 6650 XT. And when we compare their performance per watt or efficiency, the 6650 XT once again comes out on top as the most efficient by far, bringing 24% more performance per watt than the 3060 Ti, and being 28% more efficient than the 3060. When it comes the gaming performance, the 3060 Ti outperforms the 6650 XT by a significant margin. However, the 6650 XT still manages to edge out the 3060, but when we take into account the price difference and compare their value for money, the 6650 XT is the clear winner. It provided more performance per dollar than the 3060 and 3060 Ti, and when it comes to power consumption and efficiency, the 6650 XT is once again the champion. It consumes significantly less power than the competitors and provides more performance per watt. Now when it comes to ray trade, the story is a bit different. As we all know, ray tracing is Nvidia's forte, and it's no surprise that both the 3060 and 3060 Ti outperform the 6650 XT in this area. In fact, the 6650 XT struggled to deliver a playable experience in most of the games we tested with ray tracing enabled. But let's take a closer look at the numbers. When we compare the average FPS for 1080p ray tracing, the 3060 Ti beats the 6650 XT by a whopping 
30%. Nice. While the 3060 also outperforms it by 34%. So it's clear that the significant portion of the higher cost of the 3060 and 3060 Ti comes from their superior ray tracing performance. But is it worth it? That's up to you to decide. If ray tracing performance is important to you, then the 3060 or 3060 Ti may be worth the extra cost, as we get into later. The story continues into 1440p ray tracing as the 6650 XT continues to struggle. Both the 3060 Ti and 3060 handily outperform it, with the 6650 XT becoming extremely unplayable in some titles. But let's take a closer look at the numbers. When we compare the average FPS for 1440p ray tracing, the 3060 takes a massive lead over the 6650 XT, beating it by a staggering 83 and the 3060 also performs well, outpacing the RX 6650 XT by 47%. When it comes to performance in ray tracing, the 3060 and 3060 Ti are the clear winners versus the 6650 XT. At both 1080p and 1440p, the 3060 delivers a whopping 74% more FPS than the 6650 XT, while the 3060 also provides a significant boost with 39% more performance. But what about value for money? Well, when we compare the performance per dollar, the 3060 Ti and 3060 still come out on top. The 3060 Ti provides an impressive 25% more performance per dollar, while the 3060 offers a solid 17% more value when it comes to ray tracing. But there is a trade-off. When we look at power consumption, both the 3060 Ti and 3060 draw considerably more power than the 6650 XT, up to 58% more on the 3060 Ti and 35% more on the 3060. However, they still manage to be slightly more efficient than the 6650 XT, by 9% for the 3060 Ti and 3% for the 3060. So overall, like I said, the 3060 and 3060 Ti's pricing justification comes from their far superior ray tracing performance. However, that value doesn't matter when you don't care about ray tracing. In that regard, I would recommend the 6650 XT if ray tracing isn't your jam. Moving on to some benchmarks, starting with 3D Mark Times by 1080p, the 6650 XT delivers solid performance, outpacing the 3060 by a whopping 17%. But hold on to your hats, because the 3060 Ti edges out the 6650 XT by a narrow 12%. Now let's talk about raw ray tracing power and port rail at 1080p. The 3060 leaves the 6650 XT in the dust, outpacing it by 9%, while the 3060 Ti blows it away by an impressive 45%. But what about productivity? In Puget Bench Adobe Suite, the 6650 XT falls short in both Premiere and After Effects. The 3060 Ti takes the lead in Premiere by a staggering 30% and leaves the competition behind in After Effects by a jaw-dropping 48%. The 3060 also edges out the 6650 XT in Premiere by a respectable 20% and beats it in After Effects by 39%. This tells us another thing that NVIDIA is better at, and that's encoding performance. NVIDIA's NVENC encoders are significantly more performant than AMD's encoders, speeding up general editing and encoding performance. So if you're into editing with these applications, the 6650 XT might not be your best bet. Let's talk about overclocking on the 6650 XT. We were able to crank up the core from 2765 MHz to a 2850 MHz and boost the memory from 2188 MHz to a blazing 2350 MHz. Not too shabby for a refresh of the 6600 XT. But did it make a difference? Testing in Heaven Benchmark revealed some surprising results. The average FPS actually dropped and the 1% lows took a significant hit. The only improvement was in the 0.1% lows, which increased by a respectable 17%. But what about the temperature and noise? The core temperature increased slightly, but not enough to make a difference. However, the overall card noise level did increase by one decibel. Not enough to notice, but it's still worth mentioning. However, the power consumption increased by a disappointing 8%, with little difference in the FPS, before and after overclocking. In conclusion, the 6650 XT is a gaming powerhouse. With its lightning fast clock speed and blazing memory speeds, it's the undisputed champion of value for 1080p gaming. And don't count it out for 1440p either, it consistently beats the 3060 at this resolution. Sure, the 3060 Ti outperforms it, with a much higher cost. When it comes to ray tracing and editing performance, the 3060 and 3060 Ti do outpace it, but if those aren't your priorities, why pay extra? Overall, the 6650 XT takes the crown for value in rasterization. Not only that, but it's also more power efficient, consuming less power than both the 3060 and 3060 Ti. In short, the 6650 XT is overall the best value gaming GPU on the market in 2023. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Also make sure to check out some of our other GPU videos like the one on screen.